Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today, I'm going to be giving you guys a what if uh, discussion. And it is on what if Gohan had died during the Cell games. And in this scenario, Gohan would have been killed by Cell when Cell was trying to uh, release Gohan's potential. So that is the what if scenario. So let's get right into the discussion. Now, if Gohan had been killed by Cell while Cell was trying to release his potential, because we, no we do know that he was getting beaten on pretty badly in that scenario, and, you know, it is definitely possible that his potential couldn't have been unlocked at that point, would not have gone to a Super Saiyan 2, and Cell would have killed him right there. Now, if that would happen, I do believe, and many other people I had talked to and discussed this with, I believe that Goku, at that point, had been strong enough and knew how to... Uh, being he knew how to release Gohan's potential in the hyperbolic time chamber, Goku himself has the potential to have gone Super Saiyan 2. Now, not a very, very strong Super Saiyan 2, but a lower level version of a Super Saiyan 2, if that makes sense. So at that point, Goku would have destroyed Cell, not playing around whatsoever. And if that had taken place, Goku beating Cell without Cell in any way becoming super perfect because there would be absolutely no way he could have. Goku obliterating Cell. Gohan would have then revi been revived at the lookout along with the rest of the Earthlings. Now this would also lead Mr. Satan to not get any credit for killing Cell because no one would have been distracted by any sort of Kamehameha clash because no such clash would have existed leading Mr. Satan to still be a popular guy would not have gotten any credit for taking Cell's uh, life. Now because of those events leading into the Boo Saga, Goten would still be born and I for one think after Gohan had been revived he would still want to study seeing how Goten would be the main child Goku would want to train at that point and this would lead Goten to be immensely more powerful because he would train with Goku instead of Chi Chi. Now if Goku had uh, trained with Goten, obviously like I said he'd be much much stronger and Goku and Vegeta as well would continue their training into the Buu Saga. Vegeta would more than likely become a Super Saiyan 2 as well as we saw him in the Buu Saga, but in my honest opinion Goku would never have reached Super Saiyan 3 because it was heavily implied that he could only achieve that form because of otherworld training so I can't see how he would have ever achieved it otherwise. As well as Goku and Vegeta may have fought once or twice over the years and this would uh, later soften some tension between them in the later years. Now with Gohan instead of training deciding to study that would still lead me to believe that he would still attend the Orange Star High School like we saw in the series and then later everything with Videl would probably turn the same course. Although it is unclear considering the fact that if we go into the Boo Saga, there's a chance that they more than likely would not enter the World Tournament again like they did in the series because the main reason they did that is because Goku was back for that one day from Otherworld. So there's not a huge reason for them to enter, but maybe Videl could convince just Gohan to go. But that's a bit of a stretch in its own. So it's more than likely that none of the Z Fighters would have attended the World Tournament. Another thing to add real quick is Goku not ever dying would also prevent him to ever learn the fusion technique in Otherworld. So that's a big effect on the overarching series in a way. Now with all those events taking place, Goku and Vegeta would more than likely be warned by the Supreme Kai. Just like in the series, they would more than likely be warned by the Supreme Kai about Majin Buu's presence, go to Bobby's place, take down all of Bobby's henchmen, as well as Deborah, and finish off the rest of that work right there. Considering the fact that Goku and Vegeta would not have as much competition or tension between each other, mainly because of Vegeta not having a chance to fight Goku in the original series. Uh, so he would have no desire to really turn into the quote unquote Majin Vegeta, and all of that stuff would go down. So the whole Boo Saga would be a much simpler story because of how quickly it would have ended. Now if you want to go as in depth and to include Battle of Gods, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, no Majin Buu basically means that Beerus wouldn't get upset over not having any pudding. He'd have all the pudding he wanted. Um, 
And if you want to go into Fikachu Noah, that's a whole nother story and I can't even possibly cover that in this video. So guys, that has been it for today. This video topic was suggested by my brother, Totally Pose. Uh, link to his channel is in the description below. Go check him out. But like I said, that has been it, guys. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I know it's been a very long time since I've done a what if video. It's been about four months, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I planned this one out pretty heavily, if you couldn't tell. But like I said, that has been it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.